it's nice to see you all again. Um, today's video is going to be my March monthly favourites, which I'm happy to announce that I'm finally getting into um the swing of getting it through to in time for the end of the month. It's just nice to be able to know that now I am recording it. Um, well, today it is Tuesday the 26th, but this is going to be coming up on Thursday the 28th, and I'm just happy to stay as well. I've decided to separate my monthly favourites to beauty and another monthly favourite video for fashion because I feel like I need more fashion related videos at the moment, so I'm going to try and get those in where I can. Um, so we're going to make a start on the monthly favourite. I'm going to start off with some um, hair products, which if you saw my hair care routine video um, that I posted up on Monday, um, a lot of the stuff that I will mention in this part of the video were in this, so if you want a bit more of a brief detail about everything hair product wise that I mentioned, um, I will link the hair routine, hair care routine video down below. Um, but basically it's like three hair stuff that I just absolutely love. First things first is a tangle teaser. Now obviously like if you've obviously watched my hair care routine you'll already know that I carry this around anyway but I just always keep it in the box when I'm not using it so when I'm at home and um, because normally I like to carry this around with me and if I'm going to Kyle's or anywhere I tend to still carry it around in this. Um, I'm planning on getting a different coloured one. I'm going to get the purple one with the sparkles. This one, I don't know if you can see very well, is um, the pink one. And I absolutely love Tangle Teasers. I literally love mine to death. Um, so definitely going to get another one, which if you would like to find the cheapest option, which I found to get is fairlyunique.com, where I could get it for um, £10.80, which is absolutely awesome and is cheap as chips compared to everywhere else. Um, another hair product I've been absolutely loving in the month of March has been my um, new argan oil from Morocco new frizz formula salon shine glossy spray by Tresemme which this um, Tanya Burr was on about which I mention every time um, I bring this product up. Um, this product is really really good and um, you just have it as like a spray and it just smells like Tresemme, it's what I love about like the Tresemme hairspray as well, how it smells all of like the Tresemme stuff um, and I've just been absolutely loving this product and um, it's been great when I've been straightening my hair I felt like it has helped and it's kept it to not frizz and it's been softer and it's just generally a really good product I don't know where to put that, put it over here, possibly. Um, my last hair product has been this, which has caused my hair to curl quite nicely um, at the moment. Um, and it is the Tresemme um, All Day Humidity Resistant Curl Defining Frizz Control Mousse. And this stuff is just absolutely amazing. Um, I like I said, I use this. The first time I used it, um, I put too much on and it went completely the wrong way as it shouldn't have gone. Um, but obviously it comes out like that and you spray it and it comes out like a mousse. And you use two to three applicants, which I do one on the top, second one, one side, third one to the side. And... It just the results are absolutely brilliant like at first you'll feel it on a night and it feels like a bit like straw but by the morning it feels really really nice once you get a nice comb through it's absolutely brilliant so they're my hair product favorites for the month we're going to move on now to the skincare stuff i've been using now i am planning on doing a skincare routine video and um, which i'll be doing after i get paid because there's a few more things i still need to get to perfected so i will get into that as i go along um, but the first thing I want to start off with is what I use to wash my face with, which is this. And it is Simple Spotless Skin Triple Action Face Wash. And this stuff is absolutely brilliant. Like, I will use this and completely all my spots will go and dry skin will be absolutely brilliant. And it's just absolutely amazing. And it's got, like, the um, 
like scrubby bits into proper exfoliate your skin as well so every time I wash with this my skin always feels like smooth and dry skin free because I have really really dry skin um, so this stuff is like seriously I bow down to this I walk or however else a tub will move um, either way I worship this product so much it's just amazing um then another thing I swear by is Simples Kind Skin Purifying Cleansing Lotion which this stuff is really awesome to use after I've washed my face um to give it a really good scrub a dub dub um what I use with this is these which are the super drugs cotton wool pads which you get 100 pads for like 150 which is pretty good and if it'll work on this camera which I'm not 100% sure it will um, but on this side it's very soft on the other side oh there we go it's like a patented sort of look and the pattern size is what we I use to put oh, to put my lotion on and then I just spread it all around my face and it's all good so I apply that to one of those and I just do it in an upwards position sort of like this just to clean my skin and once I've done the cleanse and it just soaks in really quick and then I put my moisturiser on so this stuff is a great base so if you've got really sensitive skin and you really struggle to find the good product to be able to like help your skin and um, simple is absolutely awesome so I would definitely recommend this. In fact, I am going to do a review of this product um, on my blog, which when I do, I will let you know when I have done it. Um, because no doubt it will be my, my next few monthly favourites because I absolutely love this product. So that's it for skincare. Next set of products is my um, makeup favourites for the month, which the first one I've been absolutely loving is my Sleek Makeup Palette. Hello, sleek, and it is the Au Naturel 601 Eye Divine Mineral Based Eyeshadow Palette, and it is just awesome. So I will open it up because I have been trying to experiment with as many different colours as I can, um, which you'll probably be able to see once I show you how it looks inside. So we have all these different colours, um which we're trying to do without blinding you all um in this you've got like a sparkly bronze um a peachy pale color like two sort of natural colors they're like all very like nude palettes but then you get the other one like this one where it's quite um sparkly and um, i got this in my glossy box but i think if you want to buy it in the shops it's about um eight pounds I think if it's about seven ninety nine or something like that and it's just a great purchase and I definitely think once this runs out I'm definitely gonna get another one because sleek palettes are really really good. Um I was quite excited when I got this in my glossy box because I always want I did want to try sleek but I never really knew where to get it. And as soon as I got this I realised like from people talking about it afterwards that you could actually buy them from Superdrug. So I was over the moon with that so I've got this now and I'm absolutely loving it um another makeup product i have been loving this month is something i've been using every single day um since i've purchased it and it is bubblegum lip scrub bubblegum lip scrub from lush and this stuff it seriously lasts crazily long like try and open it and show you how much i've used as you can see it's got a nice chunk from it um, oh, it smells just absolutely awesome as well don't know what happened to my voice there um, but yeah this stuff is just awesome I mean for this tub it's a cost about £5 which at first when I saw it I was like that's a lot of money for just something that small but I have had this for about two months now and I use it every day and I've still got like ridiculous amounts left so I definitely say that this is going to be a product that could last probably um, 
you generally use it when you've got dry skin on your lips but I generally have dry skin on my lips like literally every day of the year um but this doesn't run out of date until the 20th of March next year so I still got still like a full year to use this all up in but I definitely think that I'm gonna have backup of this stuff because it's really really good and I definitely think I'm gonna have to repurchase it once it's run out um which I did debate whether or not to try the other flavour but pink's my favourite colour and I'm absolutely loving the smell of this product and I just really really like it so that's another favourite um another favourite I have been loving this month which I have been using again religiously is a nail varnish and it is the top shop top base top and base coat which I don't know, you won't be able to make it up but I will have the, these products linked down below and it's obviously as you can see just really really clear um my nails are quite weird with nail varnish um so I tend to always put a coat on before I put like a nail varnish on and then put another coat of this on the top and it protects my nails for ages like it takes about four days before any nail varnish trips no matter what type of nail varnish it is normally I do wear Topshop because I normally like to wear it for work um but this stuff is great um and it's only five pounds as well so you get a top coat and a base coat in one and it's only five pounds which I think for that it's quite worth it I'm putting that up there because I have my other nail varnish there which I'm going to be putting on on um tomorrow night which will be Wednesday um after I come out of the shower and my last makeup favourite I've been absolutely going crazy with again is another Topshop product which I've also been wearing literally every day since I bought it I bought it I think it was like last week or the week before and it is a lipstick in the colour Macaroon which can you see it? No you cannot but again it will be linked um, well it will be in the description box. if I can find it on the website I'll try and link it down below. Um, I am wearing it um, now so as you can see it's quite a nice coral colour. Um, do a swatch for you guys. It looks like that. Now it is obviously more coral. It's not the same pink that matches my bracelets though it looks on camera. It's a bit more like coral than that. Um, it looks more like Okay, so it's looking alright, actually alright on the camera. Um, so it is quite a nice colour. Um, I really, really like it. I can't go wrong with it at all. Um, and yeah, so that's my last makeup favourite. My last two favourites I will just put in this last part. And they're just like sort of scented body stuff that I've been loving. Um, so the first one is of course a perfume. I've been carrying this around with me for like literally every day and this I have had literally this perfume since I think I was about 17 or no 16 16 16 I was 16 going on 17 like I would have been 17 in the May when this was the February or the it was like the December when I received it the Christmas of 2008 I think which was an extremely long time um and it is this Christina Aguilera inspire fragrance which I still have quite a lot of it left and I believe it or not got this off my ex-boyfriend slash really close best friend um and he got me it for Christmas in a gift set which I also still have the body lotion for um and I just kind of rekindled my love for it um so Thanks, Oliver. Um, so as you can see, I've still got loads of it left, and like I said, I like to go back to my fragrances, but I'm trying to do this thing now where I'm trying to use the one up at this one time and then move on to the next. Cause I have quite a lot, which there are some which are like more um my more pricey ones, which I'm gonna take with me to London because it's sort of like a special occasion, so I'll be using it for things like that, which I like this for an everyday wear. It's lovely. So it's just um I don't know how many. It's a 30ml bottle, which there's still quite a lot in there, I think, for 30ml. And I absolutely love it. It's very, um, it's quite like a sweet sort of floral smell. It's really, really nice. And, yeah, it's awesome. So along with that, the last beauty favourite I have for this season, this season, this month, 
is um I really really like impulse body sprays. Um I normally use roll on deodorant so I've got the one up here which I normally use which is Nivea Pearl and Beauty. Um I really like roll on deodorant, it's personally it's better for me. Um so just to give myself a bit more of a boost of a nice smell along with this, I've been using this every day as well. Um and it is Impulse True Love and yeah I just I really like impulse stuff um I'm I always when I know I'm running low with impulse I always like to buy loads of them because you can get them for good deals um but I just really really like them so yeah so that is it for all my um beauty favorites for this month um I will be possibly um I'm going to record my March fashion favourites um, probably next week because then it gives me a bit more extra time to have a think about what I've actually been loving wearing this month. Um, but I'm definitely going to take note of what things I love wearing throughout the month um, so that my beauty favourites and my fashion favourites for the month should come up normally around about the same time but I just thought that was just a different idea um so I thought that would be awesome so yeah that's it for this video um everything that I'm wearing on my face and fashion wise will be down in the description bar and all these products will also will be in the description bar down below and um if you enjoyed my favorites please give it a thumbs up and that would be awesome um links for tumblr and um blog um facebook page twitter everything like that will be linked down below and hopefully this video is going to be going up on thursday so i'm planning on easter sunday um Possibly Saturday, Saturday, I don't even know what day I'm on, um, Sunday, um, a video will not be going up on Sunday like it normally does as I've managed to get two videos filmed this week. I will be trying to get one up possibly Monday, between Monday and Wednesday there'll be another video going up and it should be my fashion favourites and then I will be linking down below after that video hopefully touch wood will be my um lookbook.nu page I've been re like going on about it for ages but I just haven't had the chance to be able to get any photos done so I'm hoping that the weather will be on my side this weekend so I can hopefully get it done um, so like I say, um, it will be linked down below in the near future. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, please keep subscribing to see future videos if you enjoy my videos. And yeah, I will see you in my next video next week. Bye!